Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your computer to a 64-bit operating system. So this should be a fairly straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So assuming your processor has the ability to run a 64-bit based operating system, and I'm assuming you've already checked that out, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to first start off by downloading the Windows 7 ISO file and you want to make sure you have it burned to a DVD or a movable flash drive that is bootable. I have made tutorials like that in the past and that is where we're going to begin this tutorial. We're going to be booting into our movable DVD and we're going to be performing an upgrade over our Windows 7 operating system. So we're just going to jump right ahead to that. Okay, now in our boot menu I'm going to select my CD-ROM drive because I already have my Windows 7 installation media on the computer. And now I'm going to press any key to boot from the DVD. Keep in mind we're using a 64-bit version of the Windows 7 ISO. It's very important. You don't want to be doing the 32-bit version. Because in our upgrade today, we're going to be upgrading all of our existing files to a 64-bit based operating system. So it's important you are using a 64-bit disk in this process or a removable flash drive, whichever you prefer. And you want to select the correct language, time and currency format, and the keyboard layout. Typical standard stuff here. And now you want to select install now, just by left clicking on it one time. The next step is going to be pretty important here. want to accept the license terms, then select next. Now for which type of installation you want, you have to select the upgrade one, which will upgrade to a newer version of Windows and keep your files, settings, and programs. The option to upgrade is only available when an existing version of Windows is running. So you want to select upgrade here, and then just follow along the on-screen instructions from there, and that should pretty much be it for this tutorial, guys. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.